if you're watching this or checking in, I had to go over my Hatfield shotgun that you saw in a previous episode. This is it. This is a Hatfield single shot. You push that down and it comes apart. Something that's really... Yeah, she wants to go hunting, even though she's horrible at it. All she wants to do is get sticks and then bring them to me. So I have plenty of firewood, but nobody to get my squirrels. Anyway, one of the this is a ninety-nine dollar Walmart shotgun. Well, this one was a ninety-nine dollar Walmart shotgun until I upgraded it, and now it's probably about a two hundred, almost three hundred dollar Walmart shotgun with everything I've done to it. Uh, got a good sling on it. That's important. It didn't come with sling points. I actually had to put those in. Um, I Duracoated it. This is the Coyote Brown Duracoat, the uh, spray kind, actually, not the stuff you put in the um, oven, as other Duracoat works. And it's held up pretty good. It's a 20 gauge. It does not have a manual in, uh, an automatic injector. You've got to actually pull the, you know, spit round out once you shoot it. Safety, caulking mechanism. One awesome thing about this is that it now folds completely in half. And it does that because I hollowed out this area here for the trigger guard to go up in there. But this makes this a very good backpack gun. Uh, you'll see a lot of people will actually cut these off right here. Uh, this is factory with a modified choke built into it. Uh, if you do that, you're making it just a, you know, a short-barreled scatter gun, which is, in my opinion, no good for hunting. Maybe for self-defense, that's about it. Uh, put this side saddle on here. Holds six rounds. It's got a nice little pad there for my uh, chinny chin chin. <clears throat> Orange paracode lacing it up. Because that's just cool. Um, this plug right here comes out. And I helped I hold this out a little bit more. This is actually where the bolt goes down to hold the butt stock on. But in here, I've got a few survival things. Fire starters. Uh, matches. More matches. Uh, cotton and Vaseline. Cotton and Vaseline. Uh, there's approximately five, four to five matches in each one of these little things. This is just a straw. Put matches in there, and then I crimp, uh, heated and crimped the ends, making it waterproof. Um, there's not much in there, obviously, but I can also I can put another round in there, or I can put fishing, or you know whatever. Just whatever you can fit in there will fit in there, and then it has a plug that goes in there and makes it easily accessible. Uh, another thing I did to this is I put in a fiber optic sight on it. You can see that? There you go. And because it kicks like a mule, and it, it, it's so light that when you shoot it, this thing hit me harder than almost any 12 gauge I've ever owned. I had a friend of mine who was a armorer in the Navy port the barrel, and this is taking recoil down about 50%, so it's very comfortable to shoot. Uh, it's light, it's, you know, durable, I mean, you know, what more can you say about a simple, a simple machine that does the job, and I use this for almost everything, from turkey to squirrel, uh, coyote, it's just, uh, I could use, uh, I can use it for deer as well, just put some sabot slugs in there, and I'm good to go. Shotguns are very, very universal machines especially you know all you gotta do is switch round whether it be four shot or deer slug or double lot buck and you're good to go for whatever you're trying to shoot or even for home defense but uh, it's a good weapon it served me well i've popped many a squirrel with this and a few doves um so yeah that's it there there's safety if you didn't know red means dead so, there I go. There is my Hatfield single shot 20 gauge. 
you know, I'll swear by it. And, you know, you can go out there, you can buy your Benelli's, you can buy your Mossbergs, your Remingtons, all that stuff. But for a good, uh, you know, a starter shotgun, all the way up to advance, I mean, come on, it's a hundred bucks. And it's a hundred bucks that I feel I've spent very well, because this thing has been with me quite a while. So yeah, and that's the case for it. I keep it in this. Cheap case, Walmart, product 10 bucks. I'm what you might call a uh, survivalist, maybe slightly prepper, hunter, fisher, on a budget. And, uh, you know, yeah, I can spend insurmountable amounts of money on a shotgun, but this one does what I need it to do. You know, I like simple. <clears throat> so there you go. My, my, my uh, Hatfield 20 gauge, and I am completely in love with a 20 gauge now. I used to be a 12 gauge guy, but 20 gauge, it, you know, I'm, I'm real sweet on it. It's freaking great. So, once again, there you go. Riley approves. This is a Riley approved shotgun. She's sleepy. A baby girl. But be kind to of one another, love one another. And if you're watching this, you're checking in. Thanks for watching.